United States authorities say he made Honduras a narco state. Juan Orlando Hernandez was the country's leader until just a few months ago when his term as president came to an end. But on Thursday, American anti-drug officials extradited him on a plane to state shores. The 55-year-old has been accused of aiding the smuggling of over 500 tons of cocaine between the two countries during his term in office. Hernandez is alleged to have received millions of dollars from multiple drug trafficking organizations, including from the former leader of the Sinaloa cartel, known as El Chapo. In return, the U.S. Department of Justice claims that the traffickers were allowed to operate with virtual impunity, corruption that filtered down to the police, the army and ultimately Congress. The former president has denied any involvement. So innocent. I'm innocent. I have been and am still being unfairly prosecuted. He has even gone so far as to say he is a victim of cartel revenge in response to his fight against drug trafficking. For years, Hernandez presented himself as an ally in the U.S. war against drugs. But in February 2021, the name of the president emerged in the New York court case. During the trial of Honduran drug trafficker and alleged associate Giovanni Fuentes, he said Hernandez helped him become untouchable in exchange for bribes. Last year, the former president's brother was also sentenced to life in prison by a U.S. court, having worked alongside the cartels in the large-scale trafficking operation to and from the U.S.